Hi my friends, let's model the part number 31, a handle for a metallic window in my collection of 100 parts. Let's see uh, better the part, as you can see, a handle, yes, its drawing is this, we have a flat part uh, with a profile and we also have a protrusion with two degrees on its faces because here it is supposed to be also at two degrees taper. Let's create this model Let's start. We draw a contour, but we start with a line. Like this one. We apply offset of six millimeters. This is six millimeters. And then these are dimensions on the lower contour. Eight degrees, 22, radius 109, 125, 22 degrees, and a radius of 115. Then we eliminate this two and we draw starting with this lower contour we draw lines to place dimensions angles where is here is the center. These are to be constructive construction lines and now some angles a degrees, 22 degrees, and also 22 degrees. Good. Radius. Let's trim this end. Let's apply ends to have everything prepared here. when we apply dimensions. 109 20, 22 is 125 and the radius of uh, 115. Okay, now we place on the same vertical this point and the distance between this point and this center to be exactly this, D4. Okay, there are also two dimensions to be placed. Where are they? Tangencies and parallel.
f8 this is not tangent or this let's create this constraint and now is fully constrained f9 good finish sketch f6 and now we have to create an extrusion of 26 symmetrical extrusion symmetrical 26 okay the ends are rounded with a radius of 20 of 6 let's apply all these fillets 6 okay next is this uh, conical part uh, with uh, 32 diameter 52 length to here not to here and uh, an angle of 9 taper angle of 9 we have to create this plane before the plane is based on the on this plane at uh, 52 minus 6 the thickness but with minus minus 52 plus or parenthesis yes we use all our possibilities good on this plane we have the projection automatically of the center point and we draw a circle of 32 32 diameter then we apply extrude with uh, an angle of minus 9 minus 9 divided by 2 because we consider double to the next yes to next okay visibility then we take a look to this protrusion <coughs> which is placed at 35 millimeters from the symmetry plane of the handle and with this dimensions a trapeze with 10.5 30 degrees 6.5 and 16 from the bottom to Yes, 16 is this. Okay. Good. Thirty-five. Thirty-five. Plane. with plus 
35. On this plane we create a sketch. On this sketch we draw a trapeze. Like this one. F8 to see this is parallel, this is horizontal, and now we apply, apply equal. You see the marks, and then dimensions 10.5 was here, 10.5. Uh, then uh, an angle of 30 degrees, 16 from here to the base, and 6.5 the thickness. The last is placing constraint and now it's fully constrained. Good, finished sketch, extrude. I mentioned that two degrees is on every face as a taper angle, so I extrude in the opposite sense to the part with two degrees, but not uh, 20, two degrees plus. Okay. What else? Uh, two holes, yes? One is diameter 16 and length or depth 35. The plane is not necessary. The hole placed here, concentric with this, with a diameter of 16. and with distance of 35. Okay. The last feature to create is this small hole placed at 8 millimeters from the base and tangent with the cylinder, internal cylinder. Let's do it We create a sketch in this plane. Let's uh, turn it like here. And now we apply F7 to see inside. We create a circle of three millimeters diameter. We project the generator, left generator, coincident this two and eight millimeters okay finish sketch extrude I select something inside this this must be visible inside yes this is what I want to be extruded in both directions and all the way you see this will be the hole all the way is all the way, but 
the profile was only half of it. Yes, two profiles because there is border. Yes, the cylinder. Okay, F6. And now steel. No, aluminium. Aluminium in its natural state. Yes, this is the part. Data. One hundred and fifty grams. This is the model, and this is all for today. Bye bye.